Hello, today we're going to take a look at sequences in general, and we're going to focus today on arithmetic sequences and the recursive rule. So first, let's review some patterns. A sequence is a list of terms that make up a pattern. So if we take a look here, I see that I have a plus two pattern to go from one term to the next. We're always adding two. So our next term, 10 plus two, would give us 12. Our first term is 2, and then our pattern that we just talked about is plus 2. If I look over at the other one, 1, 3, 9, 7, to go from 1 to 3, I multiply by 3. I do this every time. So 27 times 3 for our next term is going to give us 81. The first term is 1. And then my pattern is times three every time. So we're going to take a look at some vocabulary. So a string of numbers created by adding the same number each time is called an arithmetic sequence. Now this also works for subtracting because you can just add a negative. So adding an arithmetic, both start with A. The number that you continue to add or subtract over and over again is called a common difference because the difference between each pair of numbers is the same or common. A string of numbers created by multiplying by the same number each time is called a geometric sequence. The number that we use to multiply every time is actually called a common ratio. And the reason we say multiplying is because even if we're dividing, you could always multiply by a fraction. So you can always multiply by the reciprocal. Dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying 1 half. Divide by 3 is the same as multiplying by 1 third. So first we're going to determine whether each sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. If there is no common difference or common ratio, then it is definitely neither. So taking a look at this, I have 7, 10, 13, and 16. To go from one to the other, I add a 3 every single time. Because we're adding the same thing over and over again, we have a common difference. So that is arithmetic. 120, 60, 30, 15, we're dividing by 2 or multiplying by 1 half every single time. Because this is a multiplication pattern, and we are in fact multiplying by the same thing over and over, we have a common ratio. And so this one is geometric. 12, 13, 15, 18, we're adding 1 adding 2, and adding 3. Although there is a pattern, 1, 2, 3, and the next one you'll add 4, add 5, it is an addition pattern, but it's not the same number over and over again. So because it's not the same number over and over again, this one is neither. There is no common difference or common ratio. Then we have 1, 5, 25, 125. To go from one to the next, I can multiply by five. So because of this multiplication pattern, we do have a geometric sequence. 65, 60, 55, 50. We are subtracting five or adding a negative five every single time. So we have an arithmetic sequence. Lastly, we have 150, 200, 250, 300. We are adding 50 every time. Remember, adding starts with A and so does arithmetic. So we do have an arithmetic sequence. So in words, for an arithmetic sequence, how can we find the next term? So for example, the second term, we can take the first term plus some number, which is the common difference. Then we can take the second term and add some number 
to get the third term. Then for the fourth term, we take the third term and add it to some number. Fifth term, we take the fourth term and add it to some number. So in general, to go from, to get the next term, to get any term, we need the previous term, previous means the one before, plus a common difference, some number. Similarly, for geometric sequence, we have, to get the second term, we need the first term times some number. So to get the third term, we need the second term times some number. For the th fourth term, we need the third term times some number. And then for the fifth term, we need the fourth term times some number. So for any term in general for a geometric sequence, we need the previous term times some number. Go ahead and complete today's practice. Have a great day.